Shelly Ann is undoubtedly the greatest female to compete in the 100 meter, copying two Olympic titles and four world titles in the event. The Jamaican who started her international career in 2007 moved on to become a legend. In 2019, when she made her return to international competition to claim gold in the 100 meter at the World Championships, talks of where she ranked among the greats became more prevalent, because many thought that this was the true defining moment of the Jamaican's career. However, as impressive as that was, that wasn't truly the day Fraser Price proved to the world she was the greatest female 100 meter sprinter of all time. Let's rewind to the 2011 World Championships 100 meter final. The lineup was loaded. The likes of Veronica Campbell Brown, Yvette Lalova, Carmelita Jeter, and Karen Stewart, among other elite level sprinters, were all vying to become world champion. While Fraser Price, the reigning world champion, did win her semi final, she was in no way the favorite, especially when Carmelita Jeter, the fastest woman alive, was also in the race. This was Jeter's first major championship since her 10.64 run in 2009, which means that Jeter, who was beaten in 2009, was no more. This was a brand new and dangerous sprinter. This is why when she stormed past the Jamaican to win the 100 meter final, it wasn't seen as a major shock. This is where Jeter should be, at the top of the podium as the fastest woman alive. After Jeter's first world title, the goal was to capture her first Olympic title a year after. Meanwhile, the goal of Price was to add another Olympic title to her name. In 2012, season opener did not go as everyone would have hoped. After she was beaten by Allison Felix and Veronica Campbell into third at the Doha Diamond League. Six days earlier, Jeter had won the Jamaican International Invitational in the new meet record, posting 10.81 seconds, her fastest season opener ever. This signaled to the world that Jeter was ready to claim her spot on top of the podium at the upcoming London Games. The two remained for what was set to be a mega clash in London, but before they faced each other at the Olympics, they had to meet up at the London Grand Prix. Placed in two separate heats for the preliminaries, they both won, but in the final, Jeter barely finished second. Meanwhile, Price finished in the back of the pack in 8th place. Those results were not ideal, but it never affected their status as the favorites, especially not Jeter, who coming into the Olympic Games ran more times under 10.9 than anyone else, being the most consistent of all the contenders. Heading into the 6th heat of the preliminaries, Price knew she had to do a lot because earlier on the second heat, Jeter cruised to 10.83 seconds, the fastest time ever ran in an Olympic heat, surpassing Flojo, who ran 10.88 in the 1988 Olympic Games. Shelly Ann eventually won her heat at 11 seconds, claiming her place in the semis. Despite the challenge by the likes of Allison Felix and Veronica Campbell Brown, the two women went into the final unbeaten, standing as favorites. This race was massive. It was Jeter, the fastest woman alive, being more consistent than ever, versing against the defending Olympic champion Fraser Price. There was so much in terms of legacy on the line for both sprinters, and it showed as soon as the gun went, as both women ran neck to neck from start to finish. Price never blew away the field with her signature start, but yet managed to finish ahead of Jeter to capture her second consecutive Olympic gold medal. This moment stood out for Price, because unlike her previous meetings with Jeter, it never felt more important. It was the reigning world champ versus the reigning Olympic champion. To win against a determined Jeter, who after losing the 100 meter final, went on to anchor the USA team in the new world record of the 4x100 meter, removing a record that stood for 26 years. 
So Price today, who is considered the greatest 100 meter sprinter ever, has brand new challenges and we can expect that she will put on a super showing as she heads to her fourth Olympic Games in Tokyo.